Yo, for me, World Power Foundation and V Rocket International were my favorite sounds for 2022. You want to know why? Stick around. What's good, everybody? It's your Shooty Selector Hype live and direct TV sound system. You know what to do. Don't. Like, comment, share, and subscribe for 2023. Please, don't like beg people, you know, on camera. <laughs> but I'm begging you. In order for the channel to grow, likes, comments, and shares, and subscribing is very important in order for the channel to grow. The views are cool, but it's the like, the comments, and the subscription that we really, really would like you to take control of and dominate for 2023 also i gotta say shout out reaching out to all those who are representing sound system clothing uniting fashion music and culture we are inundated with so many orders throughout last year and it was absolutely insane the amount of people them who not only are part of sound system culture but also a part of music on a whole who get the brand get the ideas and yeah, we did very, very well last year. So thank you going out to all those who supported Sound System Clothing, uniting fashion, music, and culture for 2022, especially when people them in Canada and also over there in Europe, maximum respect every time. So let's get down to it, man. Big and serious. So this video, I wasn't gonna do. It's crazy, I was not gonna do this video, but then over the past couple of days, I've had a couple of sound man and a couple of sound system fans who sent me messages saying, yeah, man, big respect, loving the channel, etc., etc." Looking forward to the top 10 sound systems for 2022. And 2022 for me was absolutely insane. If you know Selector Hype, I am probably one of those, I'm an entrepreneur. So business is my thing and I do a lot of businesses. I have my hands in so many different things kind of gets crazy for me more time. And it dawned on me that I didn't do a top 10 for 2022. And I had to sit back and say, yo, rah, I didn't even do a top 10 for 2022. Why? And the reason is for 2022, I couldn't really name 10 sounds who I could put as a top 10 list. Now, don't get it twisted at all. That's not saying the sound systems inside the UK were doing absolutely nothing. They were doing, they were doing bits. So big respect going out to all the UK sound systems them who were doing their thing right the way through 2022. They were doing things, but I was super busy doing so many other things that it's not like how it was for the past three or four years where I was doing my top 10. Now, when I was doing my top 10, I had the time. I would take the time out to go and see some sound systems play. I'll check out their social media presence. I'll see the clashes that they've won or they've lost or the juggling events that they've been where it's been well attended, et cetera, et cetera. And then come up with my own opinion of who I thought was the top 10 sounds. 2023 and beyond, that's going to be a lot harder for me to do. And that's simply because, again, because I'm doing so many things, I cannot just solely focus on the sound system thing. There's so many other things that I'm doing. So now I realize that I'm in a position where I'm doing my thing. And if a sound system is doing something where I can say, yo, we, 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 what are going over this up? Mm. I can pre the thing and then see what I want. So again, I'm saying to the sound systems, them, they were doing bits from down London to right up north respect every single time so the best thing i can do is just put you all in the one category and say yo respect and man is going out to all the uk sound systems who did their thing in 2022 but like i said i'm busy so when i'm busy i'm doing my thing it's only when i see some sounds go and do something and go let me have to go and look and check out what's going on see what they're doing interact with them network with them and only two sound systems in the UK for 2022, I personally think did the goddamn thing. And the first sound system for me is Will Power Foundation, Still City, Sheffield. <laughs> now I already know how people are gonna, they're gonna look at this and say, yeah, that's because, you know, you did a little clothing thing with them and your little collaboration with Will Power and you did this and the other and you was bigging them up and blah, blah, blah. But that's the, that's the reason. That's the reason why I'm putting willpower 
up there as one of my favorite sound systems for 2022. For 2022, Willpower Foundation really put in the works, especially the fact that they knew they were celebrating their 26th year anniversary. Throughout 2022, Willpower showed their dominance up north by putting on a series of events and also being a part of a lot of events up north where they had the whole place locked. Not only did they do that, but they also was on social media a lot right the way through 2022. Willpower was giving us social media content right the way through the year. The events that they were playing, they were bigging them up and pushing them to the max, doing video drops, making sure people knew exactly where Willpower was at what particular time. Two clashes that took place inside the UK in 2022 involved Willpower. Willpower and Ecstasy, Willpower and Unitone. These two events showed the strength of what Willpower were about and where they were heading. Ecstasy 4x4 event, they took the win. Went straight back up to North and clashed with their fellow rivalry sound inside Still City, Unitone, and took an L. Now, taking an L ain't a bad thing. And Willpower might be watching this saying, <laughs> Willpower might be watching this saying, Yo, we never lost that one. You know, it's always debatable. But, and the end verdict was they took the loss on that one. And, you know, they kept it moving. Big shout out reaching out to the Unitone family and big respect reaching out to the Willpower family. But like I says, the reason why I'm putting Willpower on there is their consistency, clashing, juggling, and their presence on social media. Even when Willpower were doing their thing, juggling week in, week out and promoting what they was doing. Every time they had a little bit of a downtime, maybe they wasn't playing out for a couple of weeks or a couple of months or which didn't happen. But the gap where Willpower wasn't doing anything, they gave us a throwback. There was like, okay, so not now go on right now, but yo, remember when we did this? I remember, oh, the song used to look or you remember how this happened, etc., etc. And that's what made me take notice of how well they were doing in 2022. 2022 was also the year where they celebrated their 26 year anniversary and the way how they put the time effort into putting on that dance and putting on that event and promoting that event really certified them for the people them to understand that yo 26 years is a long time in this business and we still got the whole thing locked. And yes they took the time out to collaborate with Sound System Clothing the first collaboration with a sound system and a clothing. I've done a few collaborations with a couple of sound systems on a respect to the likes of Rolex Sound, also Sovereign Syndicate. But this collaboration we had with Willpower was straight marketing and promotion. Drop 26. Celebrated 26 years of Willpower anniversary. We dropped 26 items of clothing at the price of £26. And that was an absolutely crazy vibe. Watching a sound system link up with a clothing line that represents sound system was something that has never been seen inside of the UK ever. Shout out reaching out to everybody who got their drop 26. Big up yourself each and every time. And people are still calling us right now saying, yo, we want to get the t-shirt, we want to get the t-shirt, we want to get the t-shirt. But like we says, if you're going to market a product properly and you say drop 26, there's only 26. After that, everything gone. Look out for another collaboration with Willpower and Sound System Clothing and TV Sound System in 2023, most definitely. And remember that Willpower will be down here at Soundfest. Look out for the video on that one. And that's why I give Willpower, for me, one of the, my favorite sounds then for 2022. They put in the works, they put in the time, they put in the effort, they did the marketing, the promotion, and kept their thing consistently. Up there in North, they're definitely doing their thing. So shout out reaching out to the Willpower family. Like I says, Sound Fest, Wolverhampton Sound Fest 2023. Willpower will be coming down here to Wolverhampton to represent in fine style. Also, we're looking to bring Willpower over there in Europe more information on that tv sound system will be documenting that whole situation we're just finalizing a few things so look out for that willpower foundation big up and even though i'm not really doing a top 10 sound systems um, i'm also going to say honorable shout out going out to cb linkage who for me personally was my favorite entertaining mc from out of the uk big up yourself fam mad thing
People, you have to also remember that this is TV Sound System with Selector Hype. It's my opinion. <laughs> Everybody is going to have a different opinion. Hence the reason why I really like you to like, comment, share, subscribe. And also put your opinion in the comments. You know, I do not know it all. This is just my opinion. And I would love to hear your opinions on anything to do with sound system culture. Especially right here inside the UK. So let's waste no time at all. The next sound that represented for 2022 in my eyes, without a shadow of a doubt, the best sound system to absolutely dominate UK sound system culture. It's, it's facts, not fiction. It's just, it is what it is. It's one of them ones there where if you argue with this opinion here, you're on a different planet. We're talking about a sound system that did everything right. They might look back and say that they did a few things wrong, but on the outside looking in, they did everything a sound system should be doing right now in 2022, in 2023 and beyond. We're talking no other than V-Rocket International. For a sound system to be coming from the 1960s to the present moment right now, and absolutely understand how to market, promote, produce, conduct themselves in such a professional way. Every other sound system inside the UK or around the world should be watching and analyzing pen and paper in hand with what V Rocket Sound has done. 2022, V Rocket was all over the gaff. They was playing everywhere and anywhere. And they was always doing the same kind of thing as what Willpower was doing. They constantly was marketing and promoting and bigging up everywhere they was continuously via social media platforms. So anytime V Rocket was doing something, we knew about it. It was there and it was just something that they, they brought excitement to all the events that they was playing and really put it out there. And again, just like Willpower, every now and then, they would take a break of what they're doing. Maybe not Narguan for the for the next month or two or something, something, something. They're having a little bit of downtime. They, get, they gave you a throwback of something that they did how many years ago, so long ago or whatever, which kept, kept you in the know that, yeah, v Rockets is still continually to make themselves relevant. Then they come with the documentary. The Dynasty, the V Rocket story. Now, I didn't really see this one coming. This one just popped up and I said to myself, wow, this is exactly what I'm talking about. TV sound system, I've always wanted to document sound system culture, but V Rocket took it to such a high level. I was, I was so happy and I was so gassed for them because I, I finally... I could see a sound system that really understood. They read the assignment very well. Now, if you haven't seen this documentary or you think this documentary is some little 20 minute clip, which you don't think you need to deserve watching or it's not worth watching, you got it wrong. It is available on Amazon. And since then it has now furthered and signed contracts with about three or four other media companies. And I'm talking worldwide media companies that are showing the V Rocket Dynasty documentary. You need to go and sit and watch that. It's an amazing, amazing insight, not only to V-Rocket, but sound system culture. I had a debate the other day, and I'm going to go back off my top of my head now. And I was saying, I think it's the best sound system documentary ever. Now, use the comments. If there's anything better, let me know. But for me personally... What an amazing achievement to do in modern day times when we're dealing with sound system culture. Crazy! Now, on top of the documentary, that was followed by the Black Awards in conjunction with the Royal Air Force. Now, this event took place around about the end of October and V Rocket was up against some strong sound systems. The likes of Wasifa Showcase, Jashaka, and V Rocket was victorious on that night. Big shout out reaching out to V Rocket once again, because again, on top of the documentary, to win a prestigious award like that was again another, another, another notch on the belt to certify V Rocket being highly rated, not just over in the UK, but around the world. 
and their presence and their dominance and we ain't even done with v rocket yet you know <laughs> the new generation cup clash again v rocket did something that we've all been waiting for showcasing new talent they went out of their way not only to big up the new generation the next generation but the amount of time effort and promoting and giving the opportunity to the to the young members of v rocket to promote their own events targeting to their audience just showed the levels of where v rockets are right now they could have easily just hugged up the youth them on v rocket and said all right then come you need to follow the big zone and keep the big zone thing going they said no you guys are the younger generations them on the sound you need to start to promote your own thing. New Generation Cup Clash was an absolute movie. I was not there in attendance. I listened to the audio and I sat back and I says, wow, we can clearly see that there is space, there is marketing, there is a future in the young sound system culture. And again, guess who was a part of that making V Rocket Sound? So that's it, kind of massive. You know what it is. Select a hype live and direct. It's just my two sound systems, them and the two sound systems, them, which is a funny fact right now. I've been doing TV sound system for 11 years, and I don't have an interview with Will Power, and I don't have a full on interview with V Rocket. And that really is down to timing. When you're putting in a lot of work, time, and efforts in, in your brand, it's very hard to try and get that link and make it happen because everybody's working on different timescales. But when it happens, it will always happen very well. Um, hence the reason why you see me doing a lot of work with V Rocket over the 11 years. If you look on TV Sound System, UK Rumble covered that. The documentary, we covered that. World Clash, we covered that. Well, come on, come on. Uh, fast forward rewind covered that so bigger shout out reaching out to lady v there will be a time where we get that v rocket interview but now they've done the documentary and they've said everything my mind's thinking now how am i gonna present an interview with v rocket i've got a couple of things in mind and hopefully if we do not do it for this year we definitely will do that some some sometime time is the master but one thing i can tell you V Rocket will be at Soundfest 2023 at some point. If I have to literally drag the whole of the members there and help them lift box, they're going to be there. <laughs> Likewise with Willpower. No interview with Willpower on TV Sound System, but you've seen the many events that have been supporting Willpower Sound. The clothing collaboration, that worked and went down very well, but no interview. But again... It's all about the timing. And again, there was one time where I nearly got the willpower interview. Didn't happen. They know why. I know why. Well, I'll tell you something. When we do that interview again, yeah, my mind's ticking. How to do things, locations, etc., etc. I mean, oh, I'll talk the things. But let me tell you something. Those two sound systems for me for 2022 definitely represented in fine style. So big shout out reaching out to the whole of the Willpower Foundation family. Big shout out reaching out to all the V Rocket family. And big shout out reaching out to all the sound systems. And like I said, no top 10 this year for 2022. Big up all of the sounds. If I don't want no sounds, say, yo, you never call me. I'm mean, going do no top 10 and all these things. It's just timing. And timing right now, I focus on the two sounds that super impressed me for 2022. So on that note, shout out reaching out to Willpower family. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. The biggest sound was V-Rocket. So the only way I can end this now is letting the lady herself, the queen, Lady V, Sign out for me, ya. Uh. I'm out. Peace. 2022 has been somewhat of a roller coaster of emotional 2022. In many different ways. But first and foremost, I have to remember, and we have to remember, the people who have lost loved ones and friends throughout 2022. There have been so many. So, condolences. And my thoughts to the people who have lost loved ones and friends. 2022 for V Rocket, it's been a fantastic year. We give thanks for the support that we've had over the many years, but 2022 has been special. 
with the V Rocket documentary, A Sound System Dynasty, now it's found its way on five platforms. And also winning the Block Awards in association with the Royal Air Force Sound of the Year. It's been a tremendous year. So thank you so much for the continual support. And for 2023, more life, more blessings, unity, helping each other, working together, supporting each other in these difficult and testing times. Lady V and the full V Rocket family wish you all the best for 2023. Love and respect. I'm the cornerstone just